Hello and welcome to OXM World of the Week number 10. To celebrate the 10th edition of World of the Week, we've gone up market, haven't we, we Matt? We have indeed. We so, thought we'd really ramp it up. What What? What? What are you doing, Matt? I, well, I'm, well, I'm floating, flying. Floating away. Floating around the Christmas tree. What a lovely holiday. Well, yes, no, it's uh, I can't Harold's the advent of... No, I can't, I can't do that anymore. Right, well, yeah, we're back OXM World of the Week. Apologies, this will seem like a familiar world. It's because we are back in OXM land. Now, That's the reason for this... been problems, isn't there? There have been problems. Unfortunately, uh, Forge Studios are on it, but the recent update has caused some problems with online stability for old worlds, which means we've come to look at your stuff, but the game keeps crashing, and it's made it very difficult to make videos, so we will be back on track with the usual stuff as soon as possible. But in the meantime... We've been informed by the guys who look after XM Land, because we have passed the torch on, that they've got a little bit of a surprise for us. So we've been given some coordinates, and we're flying over to see what the surprise is. And I must say, it looks lovely and autumnal around here. Ah, yes, that's another glitch, is they've changed all the biomes. Uh, all oh. of the old worlds have been updated with the creative mode patch, which has basically messed up all the weather a bit. Well, I, I thought it looked lovely. Turns out it's a, a bug. <laughs> well, never mind. <laughs> never mind. On the plus side, this looks pretty awesome. Oof. Yeah, that's cool. You can be a Superman, basically. Do a little oh, oh, that's right. You just barge right in, Matt. Sorry, I'm not really used to the whole creative mode being able to break anything. Oh, oh. you're hulking it. I, oh, dear I'm me. Trying to People put their love and heart and soul into this, well, Matt. Well, the symmetry again. I fixed it. See, it's fine. Okay, you've done I'm a bit. Just, I'm getting a bit used to the fact that I'm you know, always a bit clumsy with the well, controls. But probably won't happen again. A boat shop and Elven Commoner's Passage. This must be some sort of a Lord of the Rings reference, I assume. <laughs> you and your, oh, you've, you've worked out the doors. Oh, no. Shouldn't be any. Oh, oh. whoa! Put the door. No. I'll put it back. It's fine. Just, just oh. punch every. Oh, he's. No. Matt. I'm sorry. I'm going. Are you griefing our own world, oh, Matt? It's fine. I won't save it. I promise I won't save it before I. Ooh, dark boxes. I don't really know what's going on with that dark box. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to stop you apologising about killing our own world. Oh, the flying's nice. But, um, yeah, uh, there's nothing catches my eye like a nice dark box. A dark box, yeah. <laughs> my God, I've got to shut up. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with the dark boxes. This is a cool ship, though. Um, I like this. It's a nice bit of design here. And, oh, yeah, natural light. Interesting. Most people would just go for a bit of glowstone in there, but they've chosen to let a bit of classic sunlight. And uh, I'm going to avoid the temptation to have a Titanic reference here. <laughs> because I believe it's been overdone too many times. Should we go down and have a look inside the hull of this the, beautiful beast? The the hully, or the gully. Or... <laughs> I think you're getting mixed up with the galley again. Galley! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Captain Jam Sponge's master cabin. Oh, well, someone's sucking up to you. Oh, yeah, look at this. I've got my books, got my checked floor, my bed. Oh, this is very nice. Where's, where's Log's master cabin, though, eh? Can't well, clearly, one. I'm not important. Mm, no, I think I could have told so, you that for free. Whoever makes this world, you can go and swivel <laughs> in a really nice way. I like you. Stop it. Don't what mean is, it. <laughs> what is going on with these dark boxes? This must be a, another visual glitch. This doesn't look weird. This, this is sinister. An autumnal box. No, this is sinister, man. This is like something of, out, of the, out of the Persona games. It all goes midnight. It's like the exciting new chests in Borderlands 2 that contain nothing but ammo. <laughs> you, get, you get excited, it's nothing really. <laughs> Just some ammo. Oh, this is a, a galley. There's some good uh, kitchen detail going on here. I enjoy that. It's very Ikea. It is very Ikea. It's a classic Ikea galley. And I like the way you've got windows inside the boat as well, so you can see the water on the outside. That's it. You've probably got with anything that's wooden and cubic, it instantly looks like a sauna. Mm, it does. I think that's just... Unless you put a bed in it, that stops it looking like, yeah, easily, that doesn't look like a sauna. That's There's lots fine. of cabins here, you've got enough for quite a hefty crew. Anyway, let's go and have a look outside for a bit. And, uh, there seems to be, oh, splish. I haven't quite got the hang of this flying <laughs> splish thing. indeed. I'm like a useless Peter Pan. Yeah, I mean, that's one thing about this creative mode that we have been talking about, is that it, from now on, everybody gets a little bit less respect because they're working with fewer constraints. It's true, it's Ma true. It's amazing what people manage to make despite the constraints of not having creative mm. mode. I should say, actually, I think I think the vast majority of this was built before creative mode came out. Oh, my God, I wasn't naysaying the people in our world. <laughs> they're all marvellous. <laughs> I like to say, no, this is not a Pokemon centre. Oh, well, of course, of course it isn't. What, what, How even, would it be? I don't even know what a, a pocket Pokemon is. A pookie poops? Nothing, nothing here. I'm congratulously, congratulately obliged to ignore this concept. Um, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I do not understand what that noise means. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, we got. Um, I think the thing about creative mode actually is we're going to start seeing. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing this now. Is 
a lot of people, especially in the comments, saying, come and see our world, it's massive, it's massive, massive. And that's cool, but it that means that there's going to be a lot more pressure for actual creativity, which I think is good. Yeah. Uh, and it is just not a case of, oh, look, I've made the biggest castle in the world. It's yeah. Really like, you know, I've made something that looks really cool. There's only so big a castle can be before the payoff begins to trail. It's sort of like, if we yeah. see a castle four times bigger than the ones we've seen already, I don't think I'll get four times as thrilled about it. Look at this, though. We've got a little oh boating lake. Oh, my God. This is, this is a whole... This is a holiday resort. They chalets. It basically is. It's like centre parks. <laughs> um, it's like, where's the, where's the big dome with a swimming pool in it? I shouldn't have said that. They'll probably go out of their way to make one now. Pirate ship. Oh, sea, seaside cafe. Let's go to a, let's have a cafe. Let's have a, maybe a slice of cake and a cup of tea. Oh, this is very quaint. Look at this. Just uh, I like the the way you can have the actual counter to flip over, but you could jump over it. But no, let's just uh, go like that. Do, do, do. Would you it's like a cup of tea, sir? These things are amazing, but they do feel like it needs NPCs, doesn't it? Mm. I don't care if you didn't interact with them. Maybe just NPCs that walk up to chairs and kind of sit down. Oh my bloody hell! They've made a lovely little bit. <laughs> This is amazing. This is nice. This is great. And actually, you can see another example here of um of the biomes getting all messed up because. I, I very much doubt they intended to snow. make a beach resort <laughs> next to a blizzard. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So Green Grow appears to be the name of this, this sort of village. Um, That's a very Sonic starting zone name. <laughs> yeah, Robotnik would be would be furious at this <laughs> this peace and quiet. So Project House like Sam Land and Green Grow Jobs. They've got a job centre. Are you gonna sign on? What Log? is going on this appears to be it's like planning permission by the looks of it it's the this, you, this is the we've got an administrative center now <laughs> so if you're going to build something then you'd write down what you're going to build and where you're going to build it just so uh, wow there's a they're going to build a black the, pirate ship where the rail track was that's cool this relies on a lot of goodwill doesn't it it does well actually there has been significant less griefing um recently I think because people have grown tired of that and I should note actually that we've got the new um, OXM land is open again and you can get in touch with those if you if you add the um, I think it's OXM Minecraft is the That's name of the account space between the space OXM between. and Minecraft and it's being run by um, uh, one of the guys who was actually on previous World of the Week a really nice guy called Subetsu and he um, is accepting invites for it it might be tough to get into it but we've actually made a brand new world that's me just destroying stuff by accident again apologies but we've made a brand new world called OXM Adventureland which is in creative mode so people can pop in and obviously you've got the, the rules there so it's very difficult to be an arsonist which should make things a bit nicer so if you do want to get involved then send a message that's one thing about the next generation maybe you'll be able to have more than 100 friends and things like this will be yeah, a lot easier maybe. to do maybe but then maybe also oh Ah, uh, that's one of the uh, one, one of, of the, one of that OXM Land hosts, My Little Pony, and of course Pyro, ten ninety nine. I like we the way salute they've got, you. They've got houses here as well. They've got houses this, in the main area, but this is like their their little holiday home. I think some would call them corrupt. Corrupt. Oh, the, the regular, regular features. features bar and grill. Wow, regular features. Is that a wonderful podcast? It does ring a bell. It does sound like it's a wonderful podcast. Yeah, it's it's the kind of podcast that just I I just go off and download on the off chance. Yeah, and what's up here? Oh, it's starting to get dark now. Nice little sunset. Oh, the Green Grow Library. Oh, it's open 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's technically closed now, probably. Should we just let's, let's go in there and tear up some books. Break in. Oh, no, no there's no there. books. Oh, there's no books. Please return all books on on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> on late fee of £15. Pounds. So there's no books there. So yeah, I, like, I like the fact there's a very strong administrative streak in this. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what is this? Something making noise in the trees? Remember the old forest and the borders, Buckland? Some folk used to say there was something in the water that made the trees grow alive. Alive? Trees that could whisper, whisper, talk to each other, even move. I'm going to have a little Van look. Gorn Forest. Aww. I'm getting a bit well freaked creepy, out. This. It is well creepy. <laughs> we're, we're grown men. We're grown men getting frightened of a fictional forest in a fictional... This is silly. I'm leaving. I and make sure to shut the door so the monsters can't find. It's like when you, you're a kid and you switch the light off and the monster's under your bed. Some habits die very old. <sighs> oh, no. Oh, but, oh, my. What's got... This, shit. They've look, been look, laying eggs. Kids. They don't know what the eggs are and they're freaked out by them. <laughs> Terrified of their own eggs. <laughs> That's how these weird ovoid things... I kind of feel bad for them, though. Yes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to liberate the chickens. I'm sorry. I'm not, I've already decided I'm not saving this farm. Oh, thank I've, God. We did... 
I'm liberating him. Run free, my chicky really? ducky friends. Oh, at least they've calmed down a bit. That's they seem really play. happy now. They're really chilled. Now they can just leave their eggs to be neglected and devoured by wolves. Oh, no, I'm going to pick them up, the eggs. I'm gonna oh, okay. Them. I'm gonna make them. Oh. oh, he doesn't like that. He's self-harming. Self-harming chicken. Oh, <laughs> like, we freed so, him. G- give me my egg back or I'll trap my wing in a door. <laughs> That's a seriously, seriously depressed chicken slash duck. I've started calling them ducks just because you did that, and even though I know they're not ducks, I've started... I honestly, w- which one I say is completely random. I don't know what they are, and I refuse to accept any confirmation one way or the other. Just because of the fact that you, you were calling them ducks, I've started being politically correct by going, oh, or, or ducks, maybe, uh, yeah, like even you though call I know them. Cause er- <laughs> even though I know they're not. Yes, all names are arbitrary, Matt, so my names are just as valid as yours. Mm. So we've got a very shouty message here about the way that the train station works with an auto-loading system. Sorry for the gaps. This needs to stand out. That's fair enough. Fair play, yeah. It's, uh, again, well organised. Platform 1 to Oakham Central. Uh, we've got some nice little switch operated doors as well. Oh, and we... Oh. What? Ah. There's no... Well, that's clever, because it means that oh, it does keep it one way. You're gonna have I... to, there's no way out. You're going to have to go on the train. No, I'm going to use my okay. little... Okay. Fair, fair play to you. Mate, it's called Matt's Special Shortcut. <laughs> just punch through walls. It works in films as well. And the Green Grove Watchtower. That's kind of ominous. It's given okay. a new twist to the whole place. But luckily no band people. Well, if I was a band person, the first thing I'd do is go there and take my name off the list. <laughs> That's a very good point. I haven't really uh, thought about that. Well, we'll just have a little last little look around. Oh. Oh. Nah, I can't no. be bothered with that. <laughs> it's a, it is a boring place, it isn't is. it, the Never? It's always boring. I always just end up disappointed. So I think we'll end with just one last glance at my wonderful pirate ship. Would you like to come on a, an adventure in my pirate ship log? No, I have no interest in going on a pirate ship with no room for me on it or no special room devoted to me. I basically hate that ship. Fair and enough. And you. Well, thanks, thanks, Log. Screw you. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching World of the Week, and we will hopefully be back in some of your worlds very soon. If you've enjoyed the video, do subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.